Yo, what's good, my people? Blazes, and today I'm back with another video. And this video is gonna be a little short one, you know. In today's video, all I'm gonna show you guys is how to revert your PS4 icons to your normal. So basically, my last video I show you guys how to download Input Mapper, so this app right here. And I also show you guys how to download PS4 icons. And I guess when you guys downloaded the PS4 icons, you guys messed something up or something. You guys said that you couldn't play the game. Yeah, there was a lot of people commenting and stuff, blah, blah. I guess it's because you didn't, guys didn't listen and just skip through the things. I'm sorry I'm being honest, but that's most likely what happened. But anyways, I'm going to show you guys how to revert it. So basically, let's start off by this. In my description down below, I don't know if this is going to work. I need somebody to tell me if this works so I can change it right away so you guys can do it. So... In the description, there's gonna be a link to a Google. Uh, what is it? A Google Drive. And that Google Drive is gonna be the stock version of these, these things. So these are. Wait, let me see. These are the modded PS4 icons, and you guys are gonna get the stock ones. So you guys are gonna click that, and then what you guys should do is just copy all of that, right? So let's start off by opening Open IV, right? Most likely, if you guys did it wrong. What I mean by wrong is because you guys downloaded it outside of your mods folder. So you guys did it outside of your mods folder. So let me see, where do we have to go to do this? Let me just open this up real quick. Let me check this. So to do this, you guys probably followed this. And this is, it's right, but you guys have, you guys have to go to your mods folder instead. So if you got, like if you have, if, I'm gonna be posting a video after this and you guys are gonna understand what I mean but if you have mods outside of your mod folder and you try to play GTA 5 online it's not gonna work because you've changed the files that's why the mod folder is there so you can play GTA 5 online by just turning off this thing ASI manager that's it so basically if if you guys downloaded did all your ps4 icons to your mouse folder you guys don't gotta watch this video you guys are good but if you guys did what you guys are gonna do is go to you know open iv go to update update.rpf x64 data uh where is the cdi images uh scale platform pc where is that scale platform pc and you guys are just gonna copy the thing that I told you guys to download in the description. Just copy it right here. So once you do that, that's it. Your game is back to stock. And to re-download it, all you guys are gonna do is just you know go to the Google Google. Uh, what do what I mean? Go to the description down below and download the PS4 icon. So basic, or you could you guys just, could just follow what I'm doing. So basically, PS4 and then download this and once you guys download it follow the same steps the only thing is put this in your mods folder please do not put it in your game directory so whatever it's called I, your main directory don't put it in those put it in the mods folder and I know the person who made this mod did this wrong like this shouldn't be like that so yeah that's it w once you guys do that you guys can play the game fine if you guys try to play GTA 5 online all you guys are gonna do is go to ASI manager and uninstall this and by the way yes you guys can play GTA 5 online with your input mapper this doesn't do nothing to your game this this is not a mod this has nothing to do with your game because this is a uh, something outside of the game all this thing does is make your PC your PC not the game your PC think that the PS4 controller is an Xbox controller that is it so basically if you play any game besides GTA Let's say you play Fortnite, for example. In Fortnite, the game is made so you can play with your Xbox controller and your PS4 controller. But if you guys have Input Mapper and go to play Fortnite, the game's gonna think that you're playing with a for with a uh, what's it called a Xbox controller. So you, I don't know if you guys understand what I mean, but hopefully that makes sense. So basically, yeah, that's it. And if you guys want to stop Input Mapper, you guys are gonna just press X because I had that question too. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like and subscribe. If you guys have any questions, freely comment them down below. I reply really quick to my uh, my comments as you guys saw in my last video. If you guys commented, I reply like almost instantly. Not really, but it's okay. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like and subscribe. Thank you guys for all the support. Recently, I've been getting a lot of subscribers uh, from my last video, and I hope you guys keep that up. I'm very happy. Um, and yeah. 
I'm out.